Elizabeth Bathory, also known as the Blood Countess, was a noblewoman from Hungary who lived in the 16th and 17th centuries. She is surrounded by a dramatic and horrific folklore that claims she was responsible for the deaths of hundreds of young girls, whom she allegedly tortured and killed in order to bathe in their blood to retain her youth and beauty. The folklore surrounding Elizabeth Bathory has become synonymous with the image of a vampire-like figure and continues to both fascinate and horrify people to this day. Elizabeth Bathory was born into a noble family in Hungary in 1560. From a young age, she was known for her beauty and intelligence and was raised in a world of luxury and privilege. However, her family also had a dark side, with rumors of cruelty and violence swirling around them. Elizabeth was reportedly subjected to physical abuse and witnessed extreme violence at a young age. She was also said to have suffered from seizures and fits of rage. Despite these challenges, Elizabeth grew up to be a powerful and influential figure in Hungarian society. Her early experiences may have played a role in shaping her later behavior and reputation as the notorious Blood Countess. Elizabeth Bathory's marriage to Count Ferenc Nadesti was initially one of great love and passion. Together, they ruled over a vast estate in Hungary, where they were known for their wealth and power. As time passed, Elizabeth's behavior became increasingly erratic and cruel. She would reportedly beat her servants, and rumors began to circulate that she was involved in occult practices. It wasn't until after her husband's death that her true nature was revealed. With the help of her trusted confidants, Elizabeth lured young girls to her castle under the guise of offering them work as servants. Once there, she would subject them to unspeakable horrors including torture, abuse, and murder. It is said that she took pleasure in watching the girls suffer and even bathed in their blood in a twisted attempt to maintain her youth and beauty. Her reign of terror continued for years until a brave priest finally brought her crimes to light. In December 1610, a team of soldiers led by Count Georgi Thurso, who was a close friend and relative of Elizabeth, raided her castle and discovered evidence of the horrific acts she had committed. They found dead and dying girls, some of whom had been mutilated and tortured, as well as various torture devices and implements of cruelty. Despite her noble status, Elizabeth was arrested and brought to trial, where her crimes were laid bare for all to see. The trial was a shocking spectacle, with witnesses recounting tales of Elizabeth's sadistic cruelty and depravity. It is said that she remained calm and composed throughout, even as the horrific details of her crimes were revealed. Elizabeth was eventually found guilty and sentenced to life imprisonment. She was confined to a small room in her castle where she was walled up and left to die. It is said that she spent her final days in a state of madness, ranting and raving about her innocence and the injustice of her confinement. Today, Elizabeth Bathory remains a figure of infamy, a reminder of the horrors that can be perpetrated by those in positions of power and privilege. Her story has been immortalized in folklore and popular culture, and continues to fascinate and horrify people around the world. <laughs>